Welcome back, guys. Let's spend a few minutes on PowerPoint as well, because it's one of the powerful tools that we use to demonstrate our Excel spreadsheet data in a more presentable way. I'm going to speak about a feature that's called Slide Zoom being used in Microsoft PowerPoint. Very, very handy in terms of presenting big data into one slide or multiple slide into one perspective. So I will share with you an example to show how does this work. So I'm sharing this um, PowerPoint slide. It's a sample uh, slide. So let's say, for instance, you have this slide where you have multiple um, uh, parts of the slide demonstrating some things, uh, charts, pictures, tables, etc., etc., some team names, name it anything. Let's take an example of this particular slide that you see on the screen. Now, here, you are plugging in, let's say, four to five slides in one particular template. It's hard to present. So how we can do that, let's take an example that next few slides we are supposed to present through this timeline. So we don't want to lose the control on the timeline or sight on the timeline. However, we want to see the other slides as well. So. Let's assume that we have to put down here the content one by one, how we will do that. First and foremost, you have to pick up in the insert part, if you reach there, you will find Zoom. This Zoom will allow you to present your content very creatively uh, through interactive, let's say, table of content kind of thing. So you can make your own table of content as well with this Zoom feature. Let's take as an example now one particular slide and see how it works. So you have to click on the zoom. There is zoom slide and zoom summary. When you click on zoom summary, it will help you to create a summary of your zoom slide. But let's stick down now to the zoom slide. So I click on it and it's asking me which slide would you like to pull in. So we basically are here on number nine. You can see the content here. So I will pick the slide number 10 and 11 as well. And let's say summary as well. So let's say we pick three slides here. I will say insert. So we have all three of those slides. You can see them moving. Now I'm going to plug them one by one. So simply I will pull it down a bit shorter version. Let's say I pull it here. So this is the final part of my presentation. Then I have content two as well. I would like to present it, let's say here. I will make it you can, you can make the size and shape as much as you creatively need it. So I'm going to make this one as well short. So just as an example, I've pulled all of them here. So you can see all three slides here. Now, how you can use this? Very simple. Just simply go into the presentation mode. Once you're in presentation mode, now you can see all the three slides. And when I hover onto the slides, which I have zoomed in, I can see a hand with a sign. This is important because this is kind of a hyperlink that I have. I will click on it and it will zoom into that. So I can demonstrate th this one particular slide to the people, to the audience. And then down there, there is a button to go back. Not these ones, but kind of upwards. Click on it. It will take you back into the main slide. Now I'm going to go, let's say, to the last slide. Click on it. It will zoom into that. You can pass through that, you can explain it to your audience, and then click on the arrow, top arrow button. Again, you're back into the slides. So on and so forth. You can easily zoom in and out of your slides with this feature, and you can consolidate bigger pictures onto one slide. Very handy tip, guys. I would uh, recommend you to use it uh, for your uh, presentations and practice it, and do share your comments and feedback into the comments section. I wish you all a good rest of the day, and I look forward to speak to you again. Till then, happy learning.